Guys, this is a, the uh, a Lenovo Yoga uh, 2, a con convertible tablet that goes for around a thousand bucks. Since it's not really targeting the uh, performance uh, market, this review will be mostly about uh, the good and the bad of it. Yeah, you can still see uh, I, uh, you can still see the result of PC Mark in the comments, but uh, it will perform about the, uh, pretty well on uh, on about everything you uh, you would ask it to do on the uh, day to day task. Uh, first thing that strikes you about the uh, this, this laptop well this convertible laptop is the uh, build quality uh, it feels rigid sturdy pretty uh, pretty solid uh, it doesn't track it doesn't feel cheap and loose or whatever even if you, uh, you move it around you see that it stays there and uh, well everything about it it feels really really solid and really uh, well built uh, second great, great thing about this is it's covered in some some rubberized material, so uh, if you're at least clean freak like, like I am, uh, you won't see finger marks everywhere, uh, even on the cover. The cover is rubberized also, and the back also, so it's pretty good. And, uh, so it it's, it gets it keeps the uh, the laptop clean. Uh, sure, you will you will still have finger marks on the trackpad and on the uh, keyboard and uh, if you you fill your your fingers with peanut butter you you see mark everywhere but for someone at least conscientious about um, keeping his hands clean it's 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 a good plus uh it's also pretty light it's uh 3.1 pounds and uh pretty thin it's about half an inch thick uh and uh you have four modes laptop which is this mode? You have uh, the tent mode, which you go like this. Uh, you have the uh, stand mode, which is like this. And uh, don't worry about the uh, keyboard; it's really leveled in here. It, it won't uh, it won't scratch anything. And uh, the last is the uh, tablet mode, like this. So. For, for usable mode and uh, one thing I was talking about to you, the um, rubberized material it really helps when you uh, put it in tent mode it, it won't slip around so it's pretty good uh, next opening it up uh, the resolution is about just one moment I'll, I'll log in with, uh, with this Let me plug it in so you can see uh, the screen better. Resolution is about um, is uh, 3200 per 1800. It's a great quality. It's about HD quality. Uh, not not 4K, but um, it's above uh, 28 1080. So it's it's pretty good. Keyboard is also sweet. Uh, Lenovo has a great model. They, I don't remember what they call it, but uh, it's it's really comfortable and it's soft. It doesn't feel cheap at all or or anything. And uh, most of them have are backlit. So as you see, if you, if you uh, intend to uh, use it in the dark, it's uh, it's usable. You, you can see what you type in. Um, same goes for the trackpad. It's a great quality, uh, well not great, but it's a good quality trackpad. Uh, I tried the uh, Dell XPS 12 and uh, the trackpad is really miles miles apart for uh, from this one because, well most likely the one on the XPS totally blows, but this one is usable. Um, so that's it about the good part, and uh, I'm going to uh, explain to you uh, the bad part of it. One thing, really really bad, is that you can not upgrade RAM. It's soldier on the board. So if you are uh, you're looking to buy one of those, you have a couple of models. If you know you want to keep it for uh, for long, and uh, well, and you think you will need more RAM in the future, uh, I would advise to get the uh, eight gigabyte model, because if you uh, get the four gigabyte in, in with the intention of uh, upgrading it uh, further along the road, you won't be able to. Uh, <coughs> second thing that's bad, but not so bad, is the Wi-Fi card. Uh, it comes with uh, the Intel 7260, it's, and it's okay at most. But uh, the good thing about the bad thing is that you can upgrade it. 
but the bad thing about the good thing about the bad thing is that in order to upgrade it it has to be uh, flagged in the whitelist uh, basically what lo what the whitelist is is Lenovo are uh, are keeping a list of the uh, of Wi-Fi card that are uh, sort of authorized or whitelist and if it doesn't uh, it's not included in, in the list it won't work at all um, so two things you have to do to uh, do if you want to upgrade the uh, the Wi-Fi card is either get one model that will work uh, or that was tested by somebody first you can google this or uh, the other option will be uh, would be to uh, to uh, flash a cracked BIOS modified BIOS but this will vo void your warranty so well it's it's a risk to take uh, so there you have it uh, it's a pretty decent device but with some flaws so that's it for now so see you around